The Wei people Chinese, Wei Zhu Pinyin, Hu Zhu, Wei Giles, Wei Tu Su Tu, Xiaojing, Kuidu Dungan, Wei Zhu Xue Jzw are an East Asian ethnoreligious group predominantly composed of Han Chinese adherents of the Muslim faith found throughout China, mainly in the northwestern provinces of the country and the Zhongyuan region. According to the 2011 census, China is home to approximately 10.5 million Wei people, the majority of whom are Chinese-speaking practitioners of Islam, though some may practice other religions. The 110,000 Dungan people of Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan are also considered part of the Wei ethnicity. Their culture has distinct differences that developed from the practice of Islam. For example, as Muslims, they follow Islamic dietary laws and reject the consumption of pork, the most common meat consumed in China, and have given rise to their own variation of Chinese cuisine. Traditional Wei clothing differs from that of the Han primarily in that some men wear white caps and some women wear headscarves, as is the case in many Islamic cultures. However, since the industrialization and modernization of China, most of the young Wei people wear the same clothes as mainstream fashion trends. The Wei people are one of 56 ethnic groups recognized by China. The government defines the Wei people to include all historically Muslim communities not included in China's other ethnic groups. The Wei predominantly speak Chinese, while maintaining some Persian and Arabic phrases. In fact, the Wei ethnic group is unique among Chinese ethnic minorities in that it associates with no non Sinitic language. The Wei people are more concentrated in northwestern China, Ningxia, Gansu, Qinghai, Xinjiang, but communities exist across the country, e.g., Beijing, Xi'an, Inner Mongolia, Hebei, Hainan, and Yunnan. Definition Ancestry After the establishment of the People's Republic of China in 1949, the term Wei was applied by the Chinese government to one of China's ten historically Islamic minorities. Earlier, the term referred to Chinese speaking groups with foreign Muslim ancestry. Practicing Islam was not a criterion. Use of the Wei category to describe foreign Muslims moving into China dates back to the Song Dynasty Pan-Turkic Uyghur activist, Masood Sabri viewed the Wei people as Muslim Han Chinese and separate from his own people, noting that with the exception of religion, their customs and language were identical to those of the Han. Wei people are of varied ancestry, many directly descending from Silk Road travelers and expatriates. Their ancestors include Central Asians, and Middle Eastern ethnic groups such as the Arabs and Persians who intermarried with the local Han Chinese. West Eurasian DNA is prevalent—6.7% of Wei people's maternal genetics have a Central Asian and Middle Eastern origin. Several medieval Chinese dynasties, particularly the Tang, Song and Mongol Yuan dynasties, encouraged immigration from predominantly Muslim Persia and Central Asia, with both dynasties welcoming traders from these regions and appointing Central Asian officials. In subsequent centuries, the immigrants gradually mixed with the Han Chinese, eventually forming the Wei, nonetheless, included among Huis in Chinese census statistics and not officially recognized as separate ethnic groups are members of a few small non-Chinese speaking communities. These include several thousand Utsals in southern Hainan province, who speak an Austronesian language TSAT related to that of the Vietnamese Cham Muslim minority, said to descend from Chams who migrated to Hainan. A small Muslim minority among Yunnan's Bai people are classified as Wei as well even if they are Bai speakers, as are some groups of Tibetan Muslims. <laughs> Genetics The East Asian O3M122Y chromosome haplogroup is found in large quantities in other Muslims close to the Wei like Dongshang, Boan and Salar. The majority of Tibeto Burmans, Han Chinese, and Ningxia and Liaoning Wei share paternal Y chromosomes of East Asian origin which are unrelated to Middle Easterners and Europeans. In contrast to distant Middle Easterners and Europeans with whom the Muslims of China are not significantly related, East Asians, Han Chinese, and most of the Wei and Dongshang of Linxia share more genes with each other. 
This indicates that native East Asian populations converted to Islam and were culturally assimilated and that the Chinese Muslim populations are mostly not descendants of foreigners as claimed by some accounts while only a small minority of them are. Wei <laughs> Wei and Wei Weiwei Wei Wei was the usual generic term for China's Muslims during the Ming and Qing dynasties. It is thought to have its origin in the earlier Weihei Wei Gi or Weiu, Wei Gu, which was the name for the Uyghur state of the 8th and 9th centuries. Although the ancient Uyghurs were not Muslims the name Weiwei Wei came to refer to foreigners, regardless of language or origin, by the time of the Yuan 1271 and Ming dynasties 1368 during the Yuan dynasty, large numbers of Muslims came from the West, and since the Uyghur land was in the West, this led the Chinese to call foreigners of all religions, including Muslims, Nestorian Christians and Jews, as Weiwei. Kublai Khan called both foreign Jews and Muslims in China Weiwei when he forced them to stop halal and kosher methods of preparing food. Among all the subject alien peoples only the Weiwei say, We do not eat Mongol food. Singhis Khan replied, By the aid of heaven we have pacified you, you are our slaves. Yet you do not eat our food or drink. How can this be right? Quote, he thereupon made them eat. Quote, if you slaughter sheep, you will be considered guilty of a crime. Quote, he issued a regulation to that effect. In 1279-1280 under Kubilai, all the Muslims say, If someone else slaughters the animal, we do not eat. Quote, dot, because the poor people are upset by this, from now on, Musulaman Muslim Wei Wei and Juhu Jewish Wei Wei, no matter who kills the animal will eat it and must cease slaughtering sheep themselves, and cease the rite of circumcision. The Chinese called Muslims, Jews, and Christians in ancient times by the same name, Wei Wei. Christians were called Wei who abstain from animals without the cloven foot. Muslims were called Wei who abstain from pork. Jews were called Wei who extract the sinews. Wei Wei is presently used almost exclusively for Muslims, but Jews were still called Lan Mao Wei Wei, which means blue cap Wei Wei. Jews and Muslims in China shared the same name for synagogue and mosque, which were both called Qingzhen Si, Temple of Purity and Truth, from the 13th century. Synagogues and mosques were also known as Libai Si, Temple of Worship. The Kaifeng Jews were nicknamed Tiao Qin Zhao. Tiao Jin Zhao extracts sinew religion. A tablet indicated that Judaism was once known as Yi Tsze Lo Ne Kiao, Yi Si Le Yi Zhao Israelitish religion, and synagogues known as Yi Tsze Lo Ne Lin Israelitish temple, but this fell from use. The widespread and rather generic application of the name Wei Wei in Ming China was attested by foreign visitors as well. Matteo Ricci, the first Jesuit to reach Beijing 1598, noted that Saracens are everywhere in evidence. Their thousands of families are scattered about in nearly every province. Ricci noted that the term Wei Wei or Wei was applied by Chinese not only to Saracens, Muslims, but also to Chinese Jews and supposedly even to Christians. In fact, when the reclusive Wanli emperor first saw a picture of Ricci and Diego de Pontoya, he supposedly exclaimed, Hoei, Hoei. It is quite evident that they are Saracens, and had to be told by a eunuch that they actually weren't, because they ate pork. The 1916 Encyclopedia of Religion and Ethics, Volume 8, said that Chinese Muslims always called themselves Wei Wei or Huizi, and that neither themselves nor other people called themselves Han, and they disliked people calling them Dungan. A French army commandant Viscount Delone wrote a report on what he saw among Wei in 1910. He reported that due to religion, Wei were classed as a different nationality from Han as if they were one of the other minority groups. Huzu is now the standard term for the Wei nationality, ethnic group, and Huaman, for Wei people, or a Wei person. The traditional expression Wei Wei, its use now largely restricted to rural areas, would sound quaint, if not outright demeaning, to modern urban Chinese Muslims. Related terms 
Islam was originally called Dashi Zhao during the Tang dynasty, when Muslims first appeared in China. Dashi Fa literally means Arab law. In Old Chinese, modern calls Alabo. Since almost all Muslims in China were exclusively foreign Arabs or Persians at the time, it was barely mentioned by the Chinese, unlike other religions like Zoroastrism, Mazdaism, and Nestorian Christianity which gained followings in China. As an influx of foreigners, such as Persians, Jews and Christians, most but not all of them were Muslims who came from western regions, they were labeled as Simu people, but were also mistaken by Chinese as Uyghur, due to them coming from the west Uyghur lands, so the name, Wei Wei was applied to them, and eventually became the name applied to Muslims. Another, probably unrelated, early use of the word Wei Wei comes from the history of Liao dynasty, which mentions Yelu Dashi, the 12th century founder of the Kara Khitan Khanate, defeating the Wei Wei Dashibu Wei Wei da Shibu people near Samarkand, apparently, referring to his defeat of the Khwarezma ruler Ahmed Sinjar in 1141. Khwarezma is referred to as Weiweiguo in the secret history of the Mongols as well, while Weiwei or Wei remained a generic name for all Muslims in Imperial China. Specific terms were sometimes used to refer to particular groups, e.g., Chanto Wei, Turbaned Wei, for Uyghurs, Dongshang Wei and Sala Wei for Dongshang and Salar people, and sometimes even Han Wei, Han Wei, Chinese Wei. For the presumably Chinese-speaking Muslims more assimilated into the Chinese mainstream society, some scholars also say that some Wei used to call themselves Wei Hanzi, Wei Hanzi, Muslim Han, but the communist regime separated them from other Chinese and placed them into a separate Minzu, Huzu. In the 1930s, the Communist Party defined the term Wei to indicate only Sinophone Muslims. In 1941, this was clarified by a party committee comprising ethnic policy researchers in a treatise entitled, On the Question of Weiwei Ethnicity. Weiwei Minzu Wenti. This treatise defined the characteristics of the Wei nationality as an ethnic group associated with, but not defined by, Islam and descended primarily from Muslims who migrated to China during the Mongol-founded Yuan dynasty 1271 as distinct from the Uyghur and other Turkic-speaking ethnic groups in Xinjiang. The nationalist government by contrast recognized all Muslims as one of the five peoples. Alongside the Manchus, Mongols, Tibetans and Han Chinese, that constituted the Republic of China, a traditional Chinese term for Islam is Wei Zhao, pinyin, Hu Zhao, literally, the religion of the Wei. However, since the early days of the PRC, thanks to the arguments of such Marxist Wei scholars as Bai Shui, the standard term for Islam within the PRC has become the transliteration, Yi Si Lan Zhao, pinyin, Yisilin Zhao, literally, Islam religion. The more traditional term Hu Jiao remains in use in Singapore, Taiwan and other overseas Chinese communities. Qingzhen, Qing Zhen literally, pure and true, has also been a popular term for Muslim culture since the Yuan or Ming dynasty. Gladney suggested that a good translation for it would be Arabic Tahara, i.e., ritual or moral purity. The usual term for a mosque is Qingzhen Si, Qing Zhen Si i.e., true and pure temple. And Qingzhen is commonly used to refer to halal eating establishments and bathhouses. In contrast, the Uyghurs were called Chan Tou Wei, turban headed Muslim, and the Turkic Salars called Sala Wei, Salar Muslim, while Turkic speakers often referred to Wei as Dungan. Zhang Yuan Ren During the Qing dynasty, the term Zhang Yuan Ren, Zhang Yuan Ren, people from the Central Plain, was the term for all Chinese, encompassing Han Chinese and Wei in Xinjiang or Central Asia. While Wei are not Han, they consider themselves to be Chinese and include themselves in the larger group of Zhang Yuan Ren. The Dungan people, descendants of Wei who fled to Central Asia, called themselves Zhang Yuan Ren in addition to the standard labels Lao Wei Wei and Huizi. For some Uyghurs, there is barely any difference between Wei and Han. A Uyghur social scientist, Dilshot, regarded Wei as the same people as Han, deliberately calling Wei people Han and dismissing the Wei as having only a few hundred years of history. Some prominent Wei, such as Imam Ma Chao Yen, refer to themselves and other Wei people as simply Chinese in English, and practice Confucian culture. Pusuman 
Pusumin was a name used by Chinese during the Yuan dynasty. It could have been a corruption of Musulman or another name for Persians. It either means Muslim or Persian. Pusumin Kuo Pusumin Guo referred to the country where they came from. The name, Pusumin Z, Pusumin script, was used to refer to the script that the Weiwei Muslims were using. Topic. Muslim Chinese The term Chinese Muslim is sometimes used to refer to Wei people, given that they speak Chinese, in contrast to, e.g., Turkic-speaking Salars. During the Qing dynasty, Chinese Muslim Han Wei was sometimes used to refer to Wei people, which differentiated them from non-Chinese-speaking Muslims. However, not all Wei are Muslims, nor are all Chinese Muslims Wei. For example, Li Yang is a famous Han Chinese who practices Islam and Wei Liangyu is a notable atheist Wei. In addition, most Uyghurs, Kazakhs, Kyrgyz and Dongshang in China are Muslims, but are not Wei. John Stuart Thompson, who traveled in China called them Mohammedan Chinese. They have also been called Chinese Muslims when Europeans wanted to distinguish them from Han Chinese. Topic in other countries Topic <inaudible> Dungan Dungan simplified Chinese Dong Gan Zhu traditional Chinese Dong Gan Zhu pinyin Dongan Zhu Russian Dungan is a term used in Central Asia and in Xinjiang to refer to Chinese speaking Muslim people in the censuses of Russia and Central Asian nations, the Wei are distinguished from Chinese, termed Dungans. However, in both China and Central Asia members of this ethnic group call themselves Lao Wei Wei or Zhangyuanren, rather than Dungan. Zhangyuan Zhangyuan, literally means, the central plain, and is the historical name of Shaanxi and Henan provinces. Most Dungans living in Central Asia are descendants of Wei people from Gansu and Shaanxi. Wei people are referred to by Central Asian Turkic speakers and Tajiks by the ethnonym Dungan. Joseph Fletcher cited Turkic and Persian manuscripts related to the preaching of the 17th century Kashgarian Sufi master Muhammad Yusuf or, possibly, his son Afaq Koja inside the Ming Empire in today's Gansu and or Qinghai, where the preacher allegedly converted Ulama Yi Tunganiya, i.e., Dungan Alema. Into Sufism, in English and German was noted as early as the 1830s, Dungan, in various spellings, as referring to the Wei people of Xinjiang. For example, Princep in 1835 mentioned Muslim Tinganus in Chinese Tartary. The word mostly in the form Dungani or Tingani, sometimes Dungeons or Dungans. Acquired currency in English and other Western languages when books in the 1860-70s discussed the Dungan Revolt. Later authors continued to use variants of the term for Xinjiang Wei people. For example, Owen Lattimore, writing ca. 1940, maintained the terminological distinction between these two related groups, the Tungkan, the older Wade Giles spelling for Dungan. Described by him as the descendants of the Gansu Wei people resettled in Xinjiang in 17 to 18th centuries, versus e.g. the Gansu Muslims are generic Chinese Muslims. The name Dungan sometimes referred to all Muslims coming from China proper, such as Dongshang and Salar in addition to Wei. Reportedly, the Wei disliked the term Dungan, calling themselves either Wei Wei or Huizi. In the Soviet Union and its successor countries, the term Dungans. Dungan became the standard name for the descendants of Chinese-speaking Muslims who emigrated to the Russian Empire mostly to today's Kyrgyzstan and southeastern Kazakhstan in the 1870s and 1880s. <laughs> Panthe Panthes are a group of Chinese Muslims in Burma. In Thailand, Chinese Muslims are referred to as Chin Ho Sin HX and in Burma and Yunnan province, as Panthe. Zhongyuan Ren was used by Turkic Muslims to refer to ethnic Chinese. When Central Asian invaders from Kokand invaded Kashgar, in a letter the Kokandi commander criticized the Kashgari Turkic Muslim Isak for allegedly not behaving like a Muslim and wanting to be a Zhongyuan Ren Chinese. Official 
The official definition by the Chinese government is as a nationality without regard to religion. It identifies Wei by their ancestry only, and includes those who do not practice Islam. In 1913, a Westerner noted that many people in Fujian province had Arab ancestry, but were no longer Muslim. Non-Muslims Throughout history the identity of Wei people has been fluid, changing as was convenient. Some identified as Wei out of interest in their ancestry or because of government benefits. These Wei are concentrated on the southeast coast of China, especially Fujian province. Some Wei clans around Chenzhou in Fujian, such as the Ding and Guo families, identify themselves by nationality but do not practice Islam. In recent years more of these clans identified as Wei, increasing the official population. They provided evidence of their ancestry and were recognized as Wei. Many clans across Fujian had genealogies that demonstrated Muslim ancestry. These clans inhabited Fujian, Taiwan, Singapore, Indonesia and the Philippines. On Taiwan, some Wei who came with Koxinga no longer observe Islam. The Taiwan branch of the Guo Kuo in Taiwan family does not practice Islam, yet does not offer pork at ancestral shrines. The Chinese Muslim Association counts these people as Muslims. Also on Taiwan, one branch of this Ding Ting family descended from Sayyid Ajil Shams al-Din Omar and resides in Taisi Township in Yunlin County. They trace their descent through him via the Chenzhou Ding family of Fujian. While pretending to be Han Chinese in Fujian, they initially practiced Islam when they came to Taiwan 200 years ago, but became Buddhist or Taoist. An attempt was made by the Chinese Islamic Society to convert the Fujian way of Fujian back to Islam in 1983, sending four Ningxia imams to Fujian. This futile endeavor ended in 1986, when the final Ningxia imam left. A similar endeavor in Taiwan also failed. Before 1982, it was possible for a Han to become way by converting. Thereafter converted Han counted instead as Muslim Han. Way people consider other way who do not observe Islamic practices to still be way. They consider it impossible to lose their way nationality. For both these reasons, simply calling them Chinese Muslims is no longer strictly speaking accurate, just as with the Bosniaks in the former Yugoslavia. History Topic <inaudible> <inaudible> Origins Wei have diverse origins. Many are direct descendants of Silk Road travelers. In the southeast coast, e.g., Guangdong, Fujian, and in major trade centers elsewhere in China, some are of mixed local and foreign descent. The foreign element, although greatly diluted, came primarily from Persian Basi traders, who brought Islam to China. These foreigners settled and gradually intermarried, converting them to Islam, while assimilating Chinese culture. Early European explorers speculated that Tong Khan, Dungans, i.e., Wei, called Chinese Mohammedan, in Xinjiang, originated from Khorezmians who were transported to China by the Mongols, and that they descended from a mixture of Chinese, Iranian, and Turkic peoples. They also reported that the Tong Khan were Shafiites, as were the Khorezmians. Another description applies to the Wei people of Yunnan and northwestern China, whose origin might result from the convergence of Mongol, Turkic, Iranian, or other Central Asian settlers who were recruited by the Yuan dynasty either as officials, the Simu, who formed the second highest stratum in the Yuan ethnic hierarchy after the Mongols but above Chinese, or artisans. A proportion of the ancestral nomad or military ethnic groups were originally Nestorian Christians, many of whom later converted to Islam under the Ming and Qing dynasties. Southeastern Muslims have a much longer tradition of synthesizing Confucian teachings with Quranic teachings and were reported to have contributed to Confucianism from the Tang period. Among the Northern Way Central Asian Sufi schools such as Kubrawiya, Qadiriya, Naqshbandiya Kufiya and Jariya were strong influences, mostly of the Hanafi Madhab whereas among the southeastern communities the Shafi'i Madhab is more common. Before the Yihewani movement, a Chinese Muslim sect inspired by the Middle Eastern Reform Movement, Northern Way Sufis blended Taoist teachings and martial arts practices with Sufi philosophy. Faced with the devastating and Lushan Rebellion, Tang Emperor Suzong wrote to Al-Mansur requesting armed assistance. Al-Mansur sent 7,000 cavalry. Those Muslim warriors were the originators of the Wei people. 
Topic: <laughs> Converted Han. According to legend, a Mahayandani person converted an entire village of Han with the surname Zhang to Islam. Another source for the Wei comes from Wei adopting Han children and raising them as Wei, Wei in Gansu with the surname Tang, Tang and Wang, Wang descended from Han Chinese who converted to Islam and married Muslim Wei or Dongshang people, switching their ethnicity and joining the Wei and Dongshang ethnic groups, both of which were Muslim. Tangguangchuan and Hanjiaji were notable as towns with a multi ethnic community, with both non Muslims and Muslims. Kuomintang official Maha Chan visited Tangguangchuan and met an elderly local literatus from the Tang clan while he was on his inspection tour of Gansu and Qinghai. In Gansu province in the 1800s, a Muslim Wei woman married into the Han Chinese Kong lineage of Dishuan, which was descended from Confucius. The Han Chinese groom and his family converted to Islam after the marriage by their Muslim relatives. In 1715 in Yunnan province, a few Han Chinese descendants of Confucius surnamed Kong married Wei women and converted to Islam. The non-Muslim branches of the Kong family disowned them for marrying Muslim women and converting and struck the Muslim branches off their genealogies. Many of the Muslim descendants of Confucius are descended from the marriage of Ma Jiaga, Ma Jia Ga a Muslim woman, and Kong Yanrong, Kong Yanrong 59th generation descendant of Confucius in the year 1480 and their descendants are found among the Wei and Dongshang peoples. Around 1376 the 30-year-old Chinese merchant Lin Nu visited Ormuz in Persia, converted to Islam, and married a Simu girl, Ku Mu Nu either a Persian or an Arab girl, and brought her back to Chenzhou in Fujian. The Confucian philosopher Li Ji was their descendant. This was recorded in the Lin and Li genealogy Lin Li Zong Pu. The main family disowned him and his descendants for converting to Islam and marrying a foreign woman and struck them off their genealogy. <laughs> Tang dynasty Islam came to China during the Tang dynasty via Iranian traders, who were primarily concerned with trading and commerce and less concerned with spreading Islam. This low profile is indicated by the 845 anti-Buddhist edict during the great anti-Buddhist persecution that said nothing about Islam. It seems that trade rather than evangelism occupied the attention of the early Muslim settlers, that while they practiced their faith in China, they did not campaign against Buddhism, Confucianism, Taoism, or the state creed, and that they constituted a floating rather than a fixed element of the population, coming and going between China and the West. <laughs> Song Dynasty During the Song dynasty, Muslims played a major role in foreign trade. The office of the Director General of Shipping was consistently held by a Muslim. The Song dynasty hired Muslim mercenaries from Bukhara to fight against Khitan nomads. 5,300 Muslims from Bukhara were invited to move to China in 1070 by Song Emperor Shenzong to help battle the Liao Empire in the northeast and repopulate ravaged areas. These men settled between the Sung capital of Kaifeng and Yenching modern-day Beijing. The provinces of the north and northeast were settled in 1080 when 10,000 more Muslims were invited into China. They were led by the emir of Bukhara, Said so er, in Chinese. He is called the father of Chinese Islam. Islam was named by the Tang and Song Chinese as Dashi Fa, Law of the Arabs. He gave Islam the new name of Weiwei Zhao. The religion of the Wei Wei. Guangzhou Canton had a community which included Persians women in the 10th 12th centuries, found in Luchang's harem in the 10th century and in Song dynasty era Guangzhou in the 12th century. The Persian women Bo si Fu there were observed wearing many earrings. The Muslim women in Guangzhou were called either Persian women Bo si Fu or Pusaman Pu Sa Man, which may be from Musulman or Busulman, which means Muslim in Persian. Topic. Yuan dynasty The Yuan dynasty, which was ruled by Mongols, deported hundreds of thousands of Muslims, Jews and Christians from West Asia and Central Asia into China where they formed the Simu class. Simu people like Sayyid Ajil Shams al-Din Omar, who served the Yuan dynasty in administrative positions became progenitors of many way. 
Despite the high position given to Muslims, some Yuan policies discriminated against them, forbidding halal slaughter, circumcision and kosher practices, forcing them to eat the Mongol way. Later, corruption and persecution became so severe that Muslim generals rebelled with Han against the Mongols. Ming founder Zhu Yenzhong enlisted Muslim generals such as Lan Yu who defeated the Mongols in combat. Some Muslim communities had the name in Chinese which meant Barak blessing in Arabic or thanks showing that their role in overthrowing the Mongols was valued by the Han, and consequently gave them their name. Simu Muslims revolted against the Yuan dynasty in the ISPAH rebellion, but the rebellion was crushed and the Muslims were massacred by Yuan loyalist commander Chen Yuding. Topic. Ming dynasty The Ming were tolerant of Islam, while their racial policy towards ethnic minorities was of integration through forced marriage. Muslims were allowed to practice Islam, but if they were not Han, they were required by law to intermarry. Wei often married Han, with the Han often converting to Islam. During the war fighting the Mongols, among the Ming Emperor Zhu Yenzhang's armies was the Wei Muslim Feng Sheng. The Ming dynasty employed many Muslims. Some Wei people claimed that the first Ming Emperor Ming Taizu might have been a Muslim, but this is rejected by most scholars. The Ming used Wei troops to crush the Miao and other aboriginal rebels during the Miao rebellions, and settled in Changde, where their descendants remain. Muslims were citizens and lived freely in Beijing, with no restrictions placed on their religious practices or freedom of worship. By contrast, Tibetan Buddhists and Catholics suffered restrictions and censure in Beijing. Marriage between upper class Han Chinese and Wei Muslims was uncommon, since upper class Han men both refused to marry Muslims and forbade their daughters from marrying Muslims, since they did not want to convert and lose their upper class status. Only low status Han would convert to marry a Wei woman. Ming law allowed Han men and women to marry each other. The Hung Wu Emperor decreed the building of mosques throughout China. A Nanjing mosque was built by the Xuand Emperor, an anti-pig slaughter edict by the Zhengdu Emperor has led to speculation he adopted Islam due to his use of Muslim eunuchs whose influence in turn may have led to the imperial production of porcelain with Persian and Arabic inscriptions in white and blue color, but it is unknown who really was behind the anti-pig slaughter edict. Muslim eunuchs contributed money in 1496 to repairing Niuji Mosque. The speculation of the Jungdu emperor becoming a Muslim is based in part on his excessive and debauched behavior along with his concubines of foreign origin. Central Asian Uyghur women were provided to the Jungdu emperor by a Muslim guard, Yun Yung and Hami women by a Muslim leader from the Kumal Hami, Said Hussain. Muslim Central Asian girls were favored by Jungdu like how Korean girls were favored by Shuand, and foreign Central Asian Uyghur, Mongol, Tatar, and Muslim Simu concubines were kept by him. Niergan, Ni Er Gan Ni Er Gan was the name of one of his Muslim concubines. When the Qing dynasty invaded the Ming dynasty in 1644, Muslim Ming loyalists in Gansu led by Muslim leaders Milayan and Ding Guodong led a revolt in 1646 against the Qing during the Milayan Rebellion in order to drive the Qing out and restore the Ming prince of Yenchong Zhu Shishuan to the throne as the emperor. The Muslim Ming loyalists were supported by Hami Sultan Said Baba and his son Prince Tarumte. The Muslim Ming loyalists were joined by Tibetans and Han Chinese in the revolt. After fierce fighting, and negotiations, a peace agreement was agreed on in 1649, and Malayan and Ding nominally pledged allegiance to the Qing and were given ranks as members of the Qing military. When other Ming loyalists in southern China made a resurgence and the Qing were forced to withdraw their forces from Gansu to fight them, Malayan and Ding once again took up arms and rebelled against the Qing. The Muslim Ming loyalists were then crushed by the Qing with 100,000 of them, including Milayan, Ding Guodong, and Tarumte killed in battle. The Confucian Wei Muslim scholar Ma Zhu served with the southern Ming loyalists against the Qing. Zhu Yui, the Ming prince Gui was accompanied by Wei refugees when he fled from Huguang to the Burmese border in Yunnan and as a mark of their defiance against the Qing and loyalty to the Ming, they changed their surname to Ming. In Guangzhou, three Ming loyalist Muslims who were killed while fighting in battle against the Qing in the Manchu conquest of China, and these Ming Muslim loyalists were called Jiaomin Sanjiang, three defenders of the faith, or the Muslims' loyal trio. Topic. Qing dynasty 
The Qing dynasty grouped minorities by language and forced way to wear the queue, while most Turkic-speaking Chinese did not, except for their leaders. During the Qing Salar Muslim men shaved their hair bald while when they went to journey in public they put on artificial queues. Uyghur men shaved their hair bald during the Qing. The Qing authorities considered both Han and Wei to be Chinese, and in Xinjiang both Wei and Han were classified as merchants, regardless of profession. Laws were passed segregating the different races, in theory keeping Turkic Muslims apart from Wei and Han, however, the law was not followed. Wei and Han households were built closer together in the same area while Turkic Muslims would live farther away from town. Topic. Muslim revolts In the Jariya revolt sectarian violence between two suborders of the Naqshbandi Sufis, the Jariya Sufi Muslims and their rivals, the Kafiya Sufi Muslims, led to a Jariya Sufi Muslim rebellion which the Qing dynasty in China crushed with the help of the Kafiya Sufi Muslims. During the Afaki Koja revolts Turkic Muslim raiders from Kokand abducted Wei Muslims and sold them as slaves in Central Asia. During the mid-19th century, civil wars erupted throughout China, led by various groups against the Qing dynasty. These include the Taiping Rebellion in southern China whose leaders were evangelical Christians of ethnic Han Chinese Hakka and Zhuang background, the Muslim Rebellion in Shaanxi, Gansu, Qinghai and Ningxia in northwestern China and Yunnan, and the Miao people revolt in Hunan and Guizhou. These revolts were eventually put down by the Manchu government. The Dungan people were descendants of the Muslim rebels and fled to the Russian Empire after the rebellion was suppressed by the joint forces of Hunan army led by Zuo Zongtang, Zuo Zongtang with support from local Wei elites. The Encyclopedia of Religion and Ethics, Volume 8 stated that the Dungan and Panthe revolts by the Muslims was set off by racial antagonism and class warfare, rather than religion. The Russian government spent thousands of rubles on an unsuccessful expedition trying to determine the cause of the revolt. The Panthe Rebellion started when a Muslim from a Han family that had converted to Islam, Du Wen Shou, led some way to attempt to drive the Manchu out of China and establish a unified Han and Wei state. Du established himself as a sultan in Yunnan during this revolt. A British military observer testified that the Muslims did not rebel for religious reasons and that the Chinese were tolerant of different religions and were unlikely to have caused the revolt by interfering with Islam. Loyalist Muslim forces helped Qing crush the rebel Muslims. During the Panthe Rebellion, the Qing dynasty did not massacre Muslims who surrendered. Muslim general Ma Rulong, who surrendered and joined the Qing campaign to crush the rebel Muslims, was promoted and became the most powerful military official in the province. The Dungan Revolt (1862–77) erupted over a pricing dispute over bamboo poles that a Han merchant was selling to a Wei. After the revolt broke out, Turkic Andiyanis from the Kokan Khanate under Yaqub Beg invaded Xinjiang and fought both Wei rebels and Qing forces. Yaqub Beg's Turkic Kokandi Andijani Uzbek forces declared jihad against Dungans under Tuo Ming, Tuo Ming aka Dod Khalifa during the revolt. Yaqub Beg enlisted non-Muslim Han Chinese militia under Shu Shaking in the Battle of Urumqi 1870. Tuo Ming's forces were defeated by Yaqub, who planned to conquer Zungaria. Yaqub intended to seize all Dungan territory. Poems were written about Yaqub Beg's victories. Wei rebels battled Turkic Muslims in addition to fighting the Qing. Yaqub Beg seized Aksu from Wei forces and forced them north of the Tian Shan Mountains, massacring the Dungans Wei. Reportedly in 1862 the number of Wei in China proper numbered 30 million. During the revolt, loyalist Wei helped the Qing crush the rebels and reconquer Xinjiang from Yaqub Beg. Despite a substantial population loss, the military power of Wei increased, because some Wei who had defected to the Qing side were granted high positions in the imperial army. One of them, Ma Anlang, became a military warlord in northwest China, and other generals associated with him grew into the Ma clique of the Republican era. Beijing's Wei population was unaffected by the Dungan Revolt. Samuel Wells Williams wrote that, They must obey the laws of the land and honor the emperor as good subjects. They have done so, and, generally speaking, have never been molested on account of their beliefs. Their chief strength lies in the northern part. The recent struggle in the northwestern provinces, which cost so many lives, began almost wholly at the instigation of Turk or Tartar sectaries, and was a simple trial of strength as to who should rule. 
while cities and towns in Kansa occupied by them were destroyed in 1860–73, the 200,000 Muslims in Peking remained perfectly quiet and were unmolested by the authorities. Some hold office, and pass through the examinations to obtain it, most of them being military men. In their mosques they exhibit a tablet with the customary ascription of reverence to the emperor, but place the prophet's name behind." Alice wrote that the relationship between Wei and Han peoples continued normally in the Henan area, with no ramifications from the rebellions. Alice wrote, "...the major Muslim revolts in the middle of the 19th century which involved the Wei in Shaanxi, Gansu and Yunnan, as well as the Uyghurs in Xinjiang, do not seem to have had any direct effect on this region of the Central Plain." Another revolt erupted in 1895 and was suppressed by loyalist Muslim troops. Religious allowances During the Qing dynasty, at the entrances of Wei mosques, a tablet was placed upon which Wangdi Wansui, Wansui, Wanwansui, Huangdi Wansui, Wansui, Wanwansui was inscribed, which means, The Emperor, may he live forever. Westerners traveling in China noted the presence of these tablets at mosques in Yunnan and Ningbo. The Encyclopedia of Religion and Ethics, Life and Death stated that the religious attitude of the Chinese Muslims is outwardly, at least characterized by moderation. They make concessions to the ruling power, hoping thus to gain security for person and property, and the most capable and resolute of those who enter the government service take part in the ceremonial of the national cult. The hatred of foreigners sometimes shown by Muslim officers of high rank, like that displayed by the Chinese themselves, is to be referred, not to religious motives, but to the exasperation provoked by the high-handed way in which foreigners interfere with the internal affairs of the country. Republic of China Before the 1911 Xinhai Revolution, when the revolutionaries faced the ideological dilemma on how to unify the country while at the same time acknowledging ethnic minorities, Wei people were noted as Chinese Muslims, separate from Uyghurs. Jaria Sufi leader Ma Yenjiang said in response to accusations that Muslims were disloyal to China, Our lives, livelihoods, and graves are in China. We have been good citizens among the five nationalities. Ma Fuxiang encouraged Confucian-style assimilation for Muslims into Chinese culture and set up an assimilationist group for this purpose. Imams such as Hu Songshan encouraged Chinese nationalism in their mosques and the Yihewani was led by many nationalist imams. The Kuomintang Party and Chiang Kai-shek both considered all Chinese minority peoples, including the Wei, to be descendants of the Yellow Emperor, the mythical founder of the Chinese nation, and thus members of the Chinese nation Zhonghua Minzu. He introduced this into the Kuomintang's ideology, which was propagated by the educational system of the Republic of China. During the Second Sino Japanese War, the Japanese destroyed many mosques. According to Wan Lei, statistics showed that the Japanese destroyed 220 mosques and killed countless Wei people by April 1941. After the rape of Nanking, Nanjing mosques were filled with corpses. The Japanese devastation left many Wei jobless and homeless. Another policy was one of deliberate humiliation. Soldiers smeared mosques with pork fat, forced way to butcher pigs to feed soldiers and forced young women to serve as sex slaves under the pretense of training them as geishas and singers. Way cemeteries were destroyed. Many way fought against Japan. Many way Muslim county of Dechang was killed by the Japanese. On 10 February 1938, legation secretary of the German embassy, Rosen, wrote to his foreign ministry about a film made in December by Reverend John McGee about the Nanking massacre to recommend its purchase. Here is an excerpt from his letter and a description of some of its shots, kept in the political archives of the foreign ministry in Berlin. One of the victims killed by the Japanese was a Muslim Mohammedan, whose name was Ha and his family. During the Japanese reign of terror in Nanking, which, by the way, continues to this day to a considerable degree, the Reverend John McGee, a member of the American Episcopal Church Mission who has been here for almost a quarter of a century, took motion pictures that eloquently bear witness to the atrocities committed by the Japanese. One will have to wait and see whether the highest officers in the Japanese army succeed, as they have indicated, in stopping the activities of their troops, which continue even today. 
On December 13, about 30 soldiers came to a Chinese house at No. 5 Sing Lu Ku in the southeastern part of Nanking, and demanded entrance. The door was opened by the landlord, a Mohammedan named Ha. They killed him immediately with a revolver and also Mrs. Ha, who knelt before them after Ha's death, begging them not to kill anyone else. Mrs. Ha asked them why they killed her husband and they shot her. Mrs. Shaw was dragged out from under a table in the guest hall where she had tried to hide with her one-year-old baby. After being stripped and raped by one or more men, she was bayoneted in the chest, and then had a bottle thrust into her vagina. The baby was killed with a bayonet. Some soldiers then went to the next room, where Mrs. Shaw's parents, aged 76 and 74, and her two daughters aged 16 and 14. They were about to rape the girls when the grandmother tried to protect them. The soldiers killed her with a revolver. The grandfather grasped the body of his wife and was killed. The two girls were then stripped, the elder being raped by two to three men, and the younger by three. The older girl was stabbed afterwards and a cane was rammed in her vagina. The younger girl was bayoneted also but was spared the horrible treatment that had been meted out to her sister and mother. The soldiers then bayoneted another sister of between seven to eight, who was also in the room. The last murders in the house were of Ha's two children, aged four and two respectively. The older was bayoneted and the younger split down through the head with a sword. In 1939, in order to gain backing for China in Muslim countries, Wei Muslim Ma Fuliang, Ma Fu Liang Uyghur Muslim Isa Yusuf Alptakan, Wang Zhengshan, Shui Wenbo, and Lin Zhongming visited various Muslim countries, such as Egypt, Syria, Afghanistan, Iran, Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, and Turkey. The Hindu leaders Tagore and Gandhi and Muslim Jinnah both discussed the war with the Chinese Muslim delegation under Ma Fuliang while in Turkey Ismet Anonu, newspapers in China reported the visit. Ma Fuliang and Isa were working for Zhu Jawa. The Wei Muslim Imam Da Pusheng da also toured the Middle East for eight months to confront Japanese propagandists in Arab countries and denounce their invasion to the Islamic world. He directly confronted Japanese agents in Arab countries and challenged them in public over their propaganda. He went to British India, Hejaz in Saudi Arabia and Cairo in Egypt. From 1938 to 1948 Dalton served on China's National Military Council. Da was educated at Al-Azhar in 1923. Da is considered one of China's four great imams who modernized Chinese Islam. The bombardment of Chinese Muslims by the warplanes of the Japanese was reported in the newspapers of Syria. The foreign minister, prime minister, and president of Turkey met with the Chinese Muslim delegation after they came via Egypt in May 1939. Gandhi and Jinnah met with the Wei Ma Fuliang and Uyghur Isa Alptakan as they denounced Japan. The Wei Muslim delegation under Wang Zhengshan in Turkey denounced the Japanese invaders through the Turkish media. During a meeting of ambassadors in Turkey the Japanese ambassador was forced to be quiet after being told to shut up by the Soviet Russian ambassador when the Japanese tried to insinuate that the Wei representatives did not represent ordinary Muslims. In 1937, during the Battle of Beiping Tianjin the Chinese government was notified by Muslim General Ma Bufang of the Ma clique that he was prepared to bring the fight to the Japanese in a telegram message. Immediately after the Marco Polo Bridge incident, Ma Bufang arranged for a cavalry division under the Muslim general Ma Biao to be sent east to battle the Japanese. Ethnic Turkic Salar Muslims made up the majority of the 1st Cavalry Division which was sent by Ma Bufang. Ma Bufang's army battled extensively in bloody battles against the Japanese in Henan province. The Qinghai Chinese, Salar, Chinese Muslim, Dongshang, and Tibetan troops were under the commander of Ma Biao, being sent to fight to the death against the Imperial Japanese Army. When they defeated the Japanese, the Muslim troops slaughtered all of them except for a few prisoners to send back to Qinghai proved that they were victorious. In September 1940, when the Japanese made an offensive against the Muslim Qinghai troops, the Muslims ambushed them and killed so many of them they were forced to retreat. Panglong, a Chinese Muslim town in British Burma, was entirely destroyed by the Japanese invaders in the Japanese invasion of Burma. The Wei Muslim Ma Guanggu became the leader of the Wei Panglong Self-Defense Guard created by Su who was sent by the Kuomintang government of the Republic of China to fight against the Japanese invasion of Panglong in 1942. The Japanese destroyed Panglong, burning it and driving out the over 200 Wei households out as refugees. Yunnan and Kokong received Wei refugees from Panglong driven out by the Japanese. 
One of Ma Guanghui's nephews was Ma Ye, a son of Ma Guanghua and he narrated the history of Pangling included the Japanese attack. An account of the Japan Sea attack on the Wei in Panglong was written and published in 1998 by a Wei from Panglong called, Panglong Booklet. The Japanese attack in Burma caused the Wei Mu family to seek refuge in Panglong but they were driven out again to Yunnan from Panglong when the Japanese attacked Panglong. Topic. Current situation Different Muslim ethnic groups in different regions are treated differently by the Chinese government in regards to religious freedom. A greater freedom is permitted for Wei Muslims, who can practice their religion, build mosques, and have their children attend mosques, while more controls are placed specifically on Uyghurs in Xinjiang. Since the 1980s Islamic private schools have been supported and permitted by the Chinese government among Muslim areas, only specifically excluding Xinjiang due of separatist sentiment there. Although religious education for children is officially forbidden by law in China, the Communist Party allows Wei Muslims to have their children educated in the religion and attend mosques while the law is enforced on Uyghurs. After secondary education is completed, China then allows Wei students who are willing to embark on religious studies under an imam. China does not enforce the law against children attending mosques on non Uyghurs in areas outside of Xinjiang. Wei religious schools are also allowed to establish a large autonomous network of mosques and schools run by a Wei Sufi leader, which was formed with the approval of the Chinese government even though he admitted to attending an event where bin Laden spoke. Wei Muslims who are employed by the state are allowed to fast during Ramadan, unlike Uyghurs in the same positions. The number of Wei going on Hajj is expanding, while Uyghurs find it difficult to get passports to go on Hajj, Wei women are also allowed to wear veils, while Uyghur women are discouraged from wearing them. Many Wei women wear veils and headscarves. There is a major halal industry and Islamic clothing industry to manufacture Muslim attire such as skull caps, veils, and headscarves in the Wei region of Ningxia. China banned a book titled Xing Fengzu Sexual Customs which insulted Islam and placed its authors under arrest in 1989 after protests in Lanzhou and Beijing by Chinese Wei Muslims, during which the Chinese police provided protection to the Wei Muslim protesters, and the Chinese government organized public burnings of the book. The Chinese government assisted them and gave in to their demands because Wei do not have a separatist movement, unlike the Uyghurs. Wei Muslim protesters who violently rioted by vandalizing property during the protests against the book were let off by the Chinese government and went unpunished while Uyghur protesters were imprisoned. In 2007, anticipating the coming Year of the Pig in the Chinese calendar, depictions of pigs were banned from CCTV to avoid conflicts with ethnic minorities. This is believed to refer to China's population of 20 million Muslims to whom pigs are considered unclean. In response to the 2015 Charlie Hebdo shooting Chinese state-run media attacked Charlie Hebdo for publishing the cartoons insulting Muhammad, with the state-run Xinhua advocated limiting freedom of speech, while another state-run newspaper Global Times said the attack was payback for what it characterized as Western colonialism and accusing Charlie Hebdo of trying to incite a clash of civilizations. Tensions between Wei and Uyghurs Tensions between Wei Muslims and Uyghurs arise because Wei troops and officials often dominated the Uyghurs and crush Uyghur revolts. Xinjiang's Wei population increased by over 520% between 1940 and 1982, an average annual growth of 4.4%, while the Uyghur population only grew at 1.7%. This dramatic increase in Wei population led inevitably to significant tensions between the Wei and Uyghur populations. Many Wei Muslim civilians were killed by Uyghur rebellion troops known as Kizil Massacre 1933. Some Uyghurs in Kashgar remember that the Wei army at the Battle of Kashgar 1934 massacred 2,000 to 8,000 Uyghurs, which causes tension as more Wei moved into Kashgar from other parts of China. Some way criticize Uyghur separatism and generally do not want to get involved in conflict in other countries. Wei and Uyghur live separately, attending different mosques. During the 2009 rioting in Xinjiang that killed around 200 people, kill the Han, kill the Wei, is a common cry spread across social media among Uyghur extremists. The Uyghur militant organization East Turkestan Islamic Movements magazine Islamic Turkestan has accused the Chinese 
Muslim Brotherhood. The Yihewani a being responsible for the moderation of Way Muslims and the lack of Way joining militant jihadist groups in addition to blaming other things for the lack of Way jihadists, such as the fact that for more than 300 years Way and Uyghurs have been enemies of each other, no separatist Islamist organizations among the Way, the fact that the Way viewed China as their home, and the fact that the "...infidel Chinese." Language is the language of the way, even among way Salafis and Uyghur Salafis, there is little coordination or cooperation and the two take totally different political agendas, with the way Salafists content to carry out their own teachings and remain politically neutral. Way Muslim drug dealers are accused by Uyghur Muslims of pushing heroin onto Uyghurs. There is a typecast image in the public eye of heroin being the province of way dealers. Way have been involved in the Golden Triangle drug area. There is a general animosity between Way and Uyghurs. The Taoyuan Uyghurs and Way, however, have a high rate of intermarriage. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Tibetan Muslim sectarian violence. In Tibet, the majority of Muslims are Way people. Antagonism between Tibetans and Muslims stems from events during the Muslim warlord Ma Bifang's rule such as the Ngolik rebellions and the Sino-Tibetan War, but such hostility was suppressed after the communist invasion and takeover in 1949. However, renewed Tibetan Muslim violence broke out in the wake of the gradual liberalization of China, that resulted in increased movement of people, such as Han and Wei Chinese, into Tibetan areas. Riots broke out between Muslims and Tibetans over incidents such as bones in soups and prices of balloons, and Tibetans accused Muslims of being cannibals who cooked humans in their soup and of contaminating food with urine. Muslim restaurants were attacked, and apartments and shops of Muslims were set on fire in the riots in mid-March 2008, resulting in death and injury. Tibetans also boycotted Muslim-owned businesses. In August 2008, the main mosque in Lhasa was burned down by Tibetans during the 2008 Tibetan unrest. Some Muslims avoided overt display of religious identity in the wake of the violence. Many Way Muslims also supported the repression of Tibetan separatism by the Chinese government, complicating their relationship. Problems also exist between Chinese-speaking Way and Tibetan Way the Tibetan-speaking Kash minority of Muslims. Sects of Islam Way are all Sunni Muslim following different Sufi schools. Ma Tong recorded that the 6,781,500 Sunni Way in China followed 58.2% Gedimu, 21% Yihewani, 10.9% Jariya, 7.2% Kufiya, 1.4% Qadariya, and 0.7% Kubrawiya Sufi schools. There have been many occurrences of violent sectarian fighting between different Way sects. Sectarian fighting between Way sects led to the Jariya rebellion in the 1780s and the 1895 revolt. After a hiatus after the People's Republic of China came to power, sectarian infighting resumed in the 1990s in Ningxia between different sects. Several sects refused to intermarry with each other. One Sufi sect circulated an anti-Salafi pamphlet in Arabic. Relations with other religions Some way believed that Islam was the true religion through which Confucianism could be practiced, accusing Buddhists and Taoists of heresy, like most other Confucian scholars. They claimed Islam's superiority to barbarian religions. Muslim general Ma Bufang allowed polytheists to openly worship and Christian missionaries to station themselves in Qinghai. Ma and other high-ranking Muslim generals attended the Coconut Lake ceremony where the god of the lake was worshipped, and during the ritual, the Chinese national anthem was sung, participants bowed to a portrait of Kuomintang Party founder Dr. Sun Zhongshan, and to the god of the lake. Offerings were given to Dr. Sun by the participants, including Muslims. Ma Bufang invited Kazakh Muslims to attend the ceremony. Ma Bufang received audiences of Christian missionaries, who sometimes preached the gospel. His son Ma Jiyuan received a silver cup from the missionaries. The Muslim Ma Zhu wrote, Chinese religions are different from Islam, but the ideas are the same. During the Panthe Rebellion, the Muslim leader Du Wenshou said to a Catholic priest, I have read your religious works and I have found nothing inappropriate. Muslims and Christians are brothers. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Culture. Topic: Sects. Topic: Mosques. The style of architecture of Way mosques varies according to their sect. The traditionalist Gedimu Hanafi Sunnis, influenced by Chinese culture, build mosques which look like Chinese temples. The reformist modernist but originally Wahhabi inspired Yihewani build their mosques to look like Middle Eastern Arab style mosques. Topic: <laughs> Foot binding. Way women once employed foot binding, at the time a common practice across China. It was particularly prevalent in Gansu. The Dungan people, descendants of Wei from northwestern China who fled to Central Asia, also practiced foot binding until 1948. However, in southern China, in Canton, James Legg encountered a mosque that had a placard denouncing foot binding, saying Islam did not allow it since it violated God's creation. Topic: <laughs> Cultural practices. French Army Commandant Viscount Delone reported in 1910 that Sichuanese Way did not strictly enforce the Islamic practices of teetotaling, ritual washing and Friday prayers. Chinese practices like incense burning at ancestral tablets and honoring Confucius were adopted. One practice that was stringently observed was the ban on pork consumption. The Sunni Gedimu and the Yihewani burned incense during worship. This was viewed as Taoist or Buddhist influence. The Way were also known as the White capped. Wei used incense during worship, while the Salar, also known as black capped, Wei considered this to be a heathen ritual and denounced it. In Yunnan province, during the Qing dynasty, tablets that wished the emperor a long life were placed at mosque entrances. No minarets were available and no chanting accompanied the call to prayer. The mosques were similar to Buddhist temples, and incense was burned inside. Wei enlisted in the military and were praised for their martial skills. Circumcision in Islam is known as khitan. Islamic scholars agree that it is required, mandatory, or recommended. The practice is seen as symbol of Muslim belief. Since circumcision in China does not have the weight of pre-existing traditions as it does elsewhere in the Muslim world, circumcision rates among Wei are much lower than among other Muslim communities, where the procedure is nearly universal. Topic. Names This long residence and mixing in China, led the Wei to adopt names typical of their Han neighbors, however, some common Wei names are actually Chinese renderings of common Muslim i.e. Arabic, Persian, and Central Asian names. For instance, surname, Ma, for Muhammad. Wei people usually have a Chinese name and a Muslim name in Arabic, although the Chinese name is most used. Some way do not remember their Muslim names, way people who adopt foreign names may not use their Muslim names. An example of this is Pai Xian Young, a way author in America, who adopted the name Kenneth. His father was Muslim General Bai Changshi, who had his children adopt Western names. <laughs> <laughs> Surnames Way people commonly believe that their surnames originated as Sinified forms of their foreign Muslim ancestors some time during the Yuan or Ming eras. Common Way surnames A legend in Ningxia states that four common Way surnames Na, Su, La, and Ding originate with the descendants of Nasruddin, a son of Sayyid Ajil Shams al Din Omar, who divided the ancestor's name Nasulading, in Chinese among themselves. Literature The Han Kitab is a collection of Islamic and Confucian texts written by various Wei authors in the 18th century, including Lu Ji. New works were written by Wei intellectuals following education reform by Ma clique warlords and Bai Changshi. 
Some texts were translated from Arabic. A new edition of a book by Ma Te Xin, called Ho Yin Ma Fu Chu Xian Sheng I Shu Ta Wa Sung Kui Ssu Tian Yaohui, first printed in 1865, was reprinted in 1927 by Ma Fuxiang. General Ma Fuxiang invested in new editions of Confucian and Islamic texts. He edited Shuofang Dao Ji, a gazette and books such as Meng Kang Zhuangkuang, Wei Bu Xinjiang Fu. Language The Way of Yunnan Burmese called them Panthes were reported to be fluent in Arabic. During the Panthe Rebellion, Arabic replaced Chinese as the official language of the rebel kingdom. In 1844, The Chinese Repository, Volume 13, was published, including an account of an Englishman who stayed in the Chinese city of Ningbo, where he visited the local mosque. The way running the mosque was from Shandong and descended from residents of the Arabian city of Medina. He was able to read and speak Arabic with ease, but was illiterate in Chinese, although he was born in China and spoke Chinese. Marriage <inaudible> 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 Way marriages resemble typical Chinese marriages except that traditional Chinese rituals are not used. Endogamy is practiced by Way, who mainly marry among themselves rather than with Muslims from other sects. However, the Way Na family in Ningxia is known to practice both parallel and cross cousin marriage. The Najiahu village in Ningxia is named after this family, descended from Sayyid Ajil Shams al Din Omar. Outside marriage Intermarriage generally involves a Han Chinese converting to Islam when marrying away, and marriage without conversion only takes place rarely. In Wei discourse, marriage between a Wei woman and a Han man is not allowed unless the Han converts to Islam, although it occurred repeatedly in eastern China. Generally Han of both sexes have to convert to Islam before marrying. This practice helped increase the population of Wei. In northwest China, intermarriages mostly involve Han women. A case of switching nationality occurred in 1972 when a Han man married a Wei and was considered a Wei after converting. Zhao Nuxu is a practice where the son in law moves in with the wife's family. Some marriages between Han and Wei are conducted this way. The husband does not need to convert, but the wife's family follows Islamic customs. No census data documents this type of marriage, reporting only cases in which the wife moves in with the groom's family. In Henan Province, a marriage was recorded between a Han boy and Wei girl without the Han converting, during the Ming dynasty. They had two children who became Muslim. Stels in Han and Wei villages record this story and Wei and Han members of the lineage celebrate at the ancestral temple together. In Beijing Oxen Street Gladney found 37 Han Wei couples, two of which were had Wei wives and the other 35 had Wei husbands. Data was collected in different Beijing districts. In Ma Dian, 20% of intermarriages were Wei women marrying into Han families, in Tang Fang, 11% of intermarriage were Wei women marrying into Han families. 67.3% of intermarriage in Tang Fang were Han women marrying into a Wei family, and in Ma Dian, 80% of intermarriage were Han women marrying into Wei families. Li Nu, the son of Li Lu, from a Han Chinese Li family in Chenzhou, visited Hormuz in Persia in 1376. He married a Persian or an Arab girl, and brought her back to Chenzhou. He then converted to Islam. Li Nu was the ancestor of Ming dynasty reformer Li Qi. In Gansu province in the 1800s, a Muslim Wei woman married into the Han Chinese Kong lineage of Dishuan, which was descended from Confucius. The Han Chinese groom and his family were only converted to Islam after the marriage by their Muslim relatives. In 1715 in Yunnan province, few Han Chinese married Wei women and converted to Islam. In the Dungan Revolt 1895 400 Muslims in Topa Duo Ba did not join the revolt and proclaimed their loyalty to China. An argument between a Han Chinese and his Muslim wife led to these Muslims getting massacred, when she threatened that the Muslims from Topa would attack Tanker and give a signal to their co-religionists to rise up and open the gates by burning the temples atop the hills. The husband reported this to an official and the next day the Muslims were massacred with the exception of a few Muslim girls who were married off to Han Chinese, Wei men marrying Han women and Han men who marry Wei women achieve above average education. <laughs> 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 
Education Wei have supported modern education and reform. Wei such as Hu Songshan and the Ma clique warlords promoted Western, modern secular education. Elite Wei received both Muslim and Confucian education. They studied the Quran and Confucian texts like the Spring and Autumn Annals. Wei people refused to follow the May Fourth Movement. Instead, they taught both Western subjects such as science along with traditional Confucian literature and classical Chinese, along with Islamic education and Arabic. Wei warlord Ma Bufang built a girls' school in Lanxia that taught modern secular subjects. Wei have had female imams, called New Ahing for centuries. They are the world's only female imams. They guide females in prayer but are not allowed to lead prayers. Military service Muslims have served extensively in the Chinese military for a long time in Chinese history, as both officials and soldiers, often filling the more distinguished military positions. During the Tang Dynasty, 3,000 Chinese soldiers and 3,000 Muslim soldiers were traded to each other in an agreement. In 756, over 4,000 Arab mercenaries joined the Chinese against An Lushan. They remained in China, and some of them become ancestors of the Wei people. During the Ming Dynasty, Wei generals and troops loyal to Ming fought against Mongols and Wei loyal to the Yuan Dynasty in the Ming conquest of Yunnan. Wei also fought for the emperor against aboriginal tribes in southern China during the Miao rebellions. Many Wei soldiers of the Ming dynasty then settled in Yunnan and Hunan provinces. During the Qing dynasty, Wei troops in the imperial army helped crush Wei rebels during the Dungan Revolt and Panthei Rebellion. The Qing administration also preferred to use Wei in Xinjiang as police. Yang Zhengxin, the Han Chinese governor of Xinjiang, extensively relied on Wei generals like Ma Xiaowu and Ma Fuxing. Qing Muslim general Zhuo Baogui (1837–1894), from Shandong Province, was killed in Pingyang in Korea by Japanese cannon fire in 1894 while defending the city, where a memorial to him stands. Wei troops also fought Western armies for the first time in the Boxer Rebellion, winning battles including the Battle of Longfang and Battle of Baikang. These troops were the Kansu Braves led by General Dong Fuxiang. Military service continued into the Republic of China. After the Kuomintang Party took power, Wei participation in the military reached new levels. Qinghai and Ningxia were created out of Gansu province, and the Kuomintang appointed Wei generals as military governors of all three provinces. They became known as the Ma clique. Many Muslim Salar joined the army in the Republic era, they and Dongsheng who have joined the army are described as being given eating rations. Meaning military service, the Chinese government appointed Ma Fuxiang as military governor of Suiyuan. Ma Fuxiang commented on the willingness for Wei people to become martyrs in battle see martyrdom in Islam, saying, They have not enjoyed the educational and political privileges of the Han Chinese, and they are in many respects primitive. But they know the meaning of fidelity, and if I say, do this, although it means death, they cheerfully obey. Wei generals and soldiers fought for the Republic against Tibet in the Sino-Tibetan War, against Uyghur rebels in the Kumul Rebellion, the Soviet Union in the Soviet invasion of Xinjiang and against Japan in the Second Sino-Japanese War. The Japanese planned to invade Ningxia from Suiyuan in 1939 and create a Wei puppet state. The next year in 1940, the Japanese were defeated militarily by Kuomintang Muslim General Ma Hongbin. Ma Hongbin's Wei Muslim troops launched further attacks against Japan in the Battle of West Suiyuan. The Chinese Islamic Association issued a message to all Muslims in China from the Chinese Islamic Association for National Salvation in Ramadan of 1940 during the Second Sino-Japanese War. We have to implement the teaching. The love of the fatherland is an article of faith by the Prophet Muhammad and to inherit the Hui's glorious history in China. In addition, let us reinforce our unity and participate in the twice more difficult task of supporting a defensive war and promoting religion. We hope that Ahongs and the elite will initiate a movement of prayer during Ramadan and implement group prayer to support our intimate feeling toward Islam. A sincere unity of Muslims should be developed to contribute power towards the expulsion of Japan. Ahing is the Mandarin Chinese word for Imam. 
During the war against Japan, the Imams supported Muslim resistance, calling for Muslims to participate in the fight against Japan, claiming that casualties would become a Shahid martyr. Ma Zhanshan was a Wei guerrilla fighter against the Japanese. Wei forces fought for the Kuomintang against the Communists in the Chinese Civil War, and against rebels during the ILI Rebellion. Bai Changshi, a Wei general, was appointed to the post of Minister of National Defense, the highest military position in the Republic of China. After the Communist victory, and evacuation of the Kuomintang to Taiwan, Wei people continued to serve in the military. Ma Bufang became the ambassador of the Republic of China Taiwan to Saudi Arabia. His brother, Ma Buqing remained a military general on Taiwan. Bai Changshi and Ma Ching Cheng were other Wei who served in Taiwan as military generals. The PLA used Wei soldiers, who formerly had served under Ma Bufang to crush the Tibetan revolt in Amdu during the 1959 Tibetan uprising. Politics The majority of the Wei Muslim Ma clique generals were Kuomintang party members and encouraged Chinese nationalism in their provinces. Kuomintang members Ma Qi, Ma Lin warlord, and Ma Bufang served as military governors of Qinghai, Ma Hongbin served as military governor of Gansu, and Ma Hongkui served as military governor of Ningxia. General Ma Fuxiang was promoted to governor of Anhui and became chairman of Mongolian and Tibetan affairs. Ma Bufang, Ma Fuxiang, and Bai Changshi were all members of the Central Executive Committee of the Kuomintang, which ruled China in a one-party state. Member Bai Changshi helped build the Taipei Grand Mosque on Taiwan. Many members of the Wei Ma clique were Kuomintang. Wei put Kuomintang blue sky with a white sun party symbols on their halal restaurants and shops. A Christian missionary in 1935 took a picture of a Muslim meat restaurant in Hankou that had Arabic and Chinese lettering indicating that it was halal fit for Muslim consumption. It had two Kuomintang party symbols on it. Outside mainland China A community of Wei migrated to Taiwan after the communist takeover of China. In Southeast Asia, presence of Wei Muslims may date back 700 years to the time of Zheng He who was a Wei. Wei also became part of the wave of Chinese migrants that peaked between 1875 and 1912, and they inhabited Penang, Sabah, Singapore and Pongkor prior to World War II. Most were Hokkien-speaking coolies and merchants originating from Fujian. The colonial British welfare system was commissioned according to language groups, so the Wei were classed as Hokkien. The small number of Wei may have become assimilated into mainstream Chinese society and local Muslim populations. In 1975, five Wei leaders started a campaign to get every clansman to put up a notice listing their ancestral for 40 generations, as a way of reminding them of their origins. The exact Wei population is unclear today as many families left Islam before independence. In 2000 official census figures gave the number of Muslim Chinese in Malaysia as 57,000 but most were Han converts. According to the Malaysian Chinese Muslim Association the surnames Koei, Ma, Ha, Ta, Sha, Woon, and An or Ang may indicate Wei ancestry, citing Hajj as a reason to flee. Mecca became the new dwelling place of Wei General Ma Bufang. Saudi Arabia was settled by hundreds of Wei Muslim soldiers under Ma Changshang after 1949. For a while Cairo was the dwelling place of Ma Bukong and Ma Bufang in between the time they were in Saudi Arabia. The passing away in Jeddah on 27 February of Ma Jiyuan was greeted with sorrow by the Chinese consulate. Thailand and Myanmar are both home to Wei Muslims, while Wei in Central Asia are Dungans. Ethnic tensions Both Muslim and other Chinese resented the way foreigners handled Chinese affairs, rather than religion. In the military, imbalances in promotion and wealth were other motives for holding foreigners in poor regard. The Dungan and Panthe revolts were set off by racial antagonism and class warfare, rather than religion. 
During the Dungan Revolt 1862 fighting broke out between Uyghur and Wei groups. In 1936, after Sheng Shikai expelled 20,000 Kazakhs from Xinjiang to Qinghai, the Wei led by Ma Bufang massacred their fellow Muslims, the Kazakhs, until only 135 remained. The Wei people have had a long presence in Qinghai and Gansu, or what Tibetans call Amdu, although Tibetans have historically dominated local politics. The situation was reversed in 1931 when the Wei general Ma Bufang inherited the governorship of Qinghai, stacking his government with Wei and Salar and excluding Tibetans. In his power base in Qinghai's northeastern Haidong prefecture, Ma compelled many Tibetans to convert to Islam and acculturate. Tensions also mounted when Wei started migrating into Lhasa in the 1990s. On February 2003, Tibetans rioted against Wei, destroying Wei owned shops and restaurants. Local Tibetan Buddhist religious leaders led a regional boycott movement that encouraged Tibetans to boycott Wei owned shops. Tensions with Uyghurs arose because Qing and Republican Chinese authorities used Wei troops and officials to dominate the Uyghurs and crush Uyghur revolts. Xinjiang's Wei population increased by over 520% between 1940 and 1982, an average annual growth of 4.4%, while the Uyghur population only grew at 1.7%. This dramatic increase in Wei population led inevitably to significant tensions between the Wei and Uyghur populations. Many Wei Muslim civilians were killed by Uyghur rebel troops in the Kizil Massacre 1933. Some Uyghurs in Kashgar remember that the Wei army at the 1934 Battle of Kashgar massacred 2,000 to 8,000 Uyghurs, which causes tension as more Wei moved into Kashgar from other parts of China. Some way criticize Uyghur separatism and generally do not want to get involved in conflict in other countries. Wei and Uyghur live separately, attending different mosques. During the 2009 rioting in Xinjiang that killed around 200 people, kill the Han, kill the Wei, was the common cry spread across social media among Uyghur extremists. Topic Notable Wei people Bai Changxi, Bai Changxi Minister of Defense of the Republic of China Bai Shui, Bai Shou Yi Prominent Chinese historian and ethnologist Kai Guoqing, Kai Guoqing Singer, Actor Kai Ming Actress, Kai Ming Actress Chen Jianbing, Shane Jian Bin Golden Rooster Awards and Golden Horse Awards Director and Actor Du Chun, Du Chun Actor Pai Su Li, General of the 36th Division National Revolutionary Army Dong Fu Xiang, Dong Fu Xiang Qing Dynasty General Gao Hongbo, Gao Hongbo former Chinese football striker and head coach of China League One side Beijing Enterprises. Gina Jin, Jin Shane actress Hei Mingfeng Hei Mingfeng Islamic scholar Wei Liangyu, Wei Liangyu a vice premier of the People's Republic of China Hu Songshan, Hu Songshan a mom and Chinese nationalist Jia Xiaochun, Jia Xiao Shane Hong Kong singer Zhang Xin, Zhang Xin actress Liu Bin Di was a Wei KMT officer who died while fighting against Uyghur rebels in the ILI rebellion. Liu was killed by Uyghur rebels backed by the Soviet Union. Cecilia Liu, Liu Shi Shi actress Liu Wei, chairwoman of Ningxia Wei Autonomous Region. Liu Ji, scholar, Gedimu Islamic scholar during the Qing dynasty. Ma Dexin, Ma Dei Xin Islamic scholar in Yunnan Ma Anlang Ma Anliang Qing dynasty general Ma Zhanchen, Ma Zhanshan guerrilla warrior against the Japanese during the Second Sino-Japanese War Ma Chengshang, Ma Sheung Shang warlord in China during the Republic of China era, son of Ma Buqing Ma Ching Chang, Republic of China Army Lieutenant General Ma Dunjing 1906-1972, Ma Dunjing Republic of China Lieutenant General Ma Dunjing 10 to 2003, Ma Dunjing Republic of China Lieutenant General Ma Fulu, Ma Fulu Qing Dynasty Army Officer Ma Fushou, Ma Fushou Qing Dynasty Army Officer Ma Fuxiang, Ma Fuxiang Qing Dynasty General and a warlord in China during the Republic of China era Ma Fuyuan, Ma Fuyuan Republic of China General Ma Goliang Qing Dynasty Army Officer Ma Haiyan, Ma Haiyan Qing Dynasty General Ma Hongbin, Ma Hongbin Republic of China General Ma 
Hongkui, Ma Hongkui Republic of China, General Ma Hushan, Ma Hushan Republic of China, General Muhammad Ma Jian, scholar from Yunnan, translator of the Quran Ma Jiyuan, Ma Jiyuan Republic of China, General Ma Ju Lung Republic of China, General Ma Juling, Qing Dynasty General Ma Ke, actor, Ma Ke, actor Ma Sikhun, Ma Si Chun, actress Ma Tianyu, Mandopop singer, actor Ma Zhongking, Ma Zhongkang Republic of China, General Ma Lian Yuan, Ma Lian Yuan, Mehmd Nur Al Hq Abin Elkman Alsini Muhammad Nur Al Haq Ibn Luqman Asini, 1841 to 1903, Islamic scholar Ma Lin, warlord, Ma Lin Qing Dynasty and Republic of China, General Ma Lin Yi Gansu, Minister of Education Ma Qi, Ma Qi Qing Dynasty and Republic of China, General Ma Shishi, founder of the Zideotang Ma Qianling, Ma Qianling Qing Dynasty, General Ma Zhanao, Ma Zhanao Qing Dynasty, General Ma Zhanhai, Republic of China, General Ma Huolong, Ma Hua Long, one of the leaders of the Dungan Revolt of 1862 77. Ma Sanli, one of the most respected Chinese stand up comedians. Ma Xiaowu, Ma Xiaowu Daotai of Kashgar, Ma Shenglin, Ma Shenglin Panthe Rebellion rebel and great uncle of Ma Xiaowu, Ma Sheng Kui, a general of the 36th Division, National Revolutionary Army. Ma Yanjiang, Ma Yuan Zhang, a Jaria Sufi leader, uncle of Ma Xiaowu, Ma Shao, Republic of China general in Lu Wenhui's army. Ma Xinyi, Ma Xinyi official and a military general of the late Qing dynasty in China. Tang Kesson, representative of the Kuomintang in Xikong. Kazim Tuit, entrepreneur and Islamic educationalist in Hong Kong. Sa Baining, Chinese TV host. Su Qin Shou, a general of the 36th Division, National Revolutionary Army. Said Ajil Shams Al Din Omar, first governor of Yunnan Province in Yuan Dynasty. Shi Qiling Shi Qi Ling Islamic scholar Wang Daiyu, Islamic scholar during the Ming and Qing dynasties Wang Ziping, martial artist who participated in the Boxer Rebellion Yang Shuo, Yang Shuo actor Zhang Chengzi, Zhang Sheung Ji contemporary author and alleged creator of the term Red Guards Zhang Linpeng, Zhang Lin Pen Chinese international footballer Zhang Hongtu, Zhang Hongtu, an artist known for his paintings and sculptures. Zhang 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 Zhang, Islamic scholar. Topic: Related group names. Dungan in Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan. Panthe in Burma. Utsal in Hainan Island, speakers of a Malayo-Polynesian language, but officially classified by the Chinese government as Wei. See also Qin Ha, Chinese Thai, one-third of whom are Wei Wei Pan nationalism Wei people in Beijing Islam in China Wei minorities war Panthe Rebellion Chinese Islamic cuisine